country are you originally from? So uh, I'm from Bangladesh, as I told you. Uh, it's um, it's in South uh, Asian country. What were the tests you had to do to go through to become a U.S. citizen? Actually, I still didn't apply for the United States citizenship. I am a permanent resident here. So they give me a permanent residency as because um, I'm a specialized in my um, work. So I applied for that and they give me the residency to live here, to work here. So we are making a presentation on immigrant aliens admitted to the United States by ethnicity. So um, we are putting the populations in this column and then the names of the ethnic, ethnic group on this column and then it would show up with the graph like this. Do you have any family back in your old country? Yes, I have everybody. I'm, you know, something that's really sad that I'm, something that I really miss is, you know, especially now, it's, uh, I was not really missing a lot a long time ago when I first came, but um, now that I have children, I have young children, and my mom passed away, and I see my father getting old, I just would like to stay there. See, I get emotional because, and take care of them the same way they took care of me when I was little. And do you ever wish you could move back? <laughs> when I retire, I get rich. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I would like to, to retire, yes, because I think it's a really beautiful country. And I'm teaching Italian to my children, and they are Italian citizens as well. And, um, it, but it's really a country for people that don't have to work, so if I have the opportunity for them to, to study in Italy, or in Europe, um, I will definitely consider the option of going back and, you know, and, and go back and just enjoy life and warm weather. You know, the winter, it's too cold. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Uh, what I did here was I went on Word and then I made uh, a table and it has the year, the number of immigrants and the country of origin. And once I'm done with that, I'll be done with the whole graph. Activities did you do in your original country? Number one, my first job from school was um, a legal secretary with a lawyer. That's the very first one. And then I went on there to be a policeman. Then from there, being a policeman, and then I migrated here. I worked like last night as a policeman from 6 to 10 p.m. And I was on a Pan Am jet to this country 7.30 the next morning. So that will tell you, it's from one job heading to another, wasting no time. Um, did you leave any family members behind? Oh yes, my entire family was left behind. Wife and five children were left in Trinidad, and then my wife had to take them to Dominica for her mother to take care of and her and, and her um, sisters. So, and from there, my wife came and met me up here, and then we brought everybody up, including her father, it was one in the um, bunch too, one of them, the last son. So what country are you originally from? I am original from Kenya. Yeah. Okay. What was the process in getting your green card? Uh, I'm very fortunate to be blessed with a very innovative mom. It came to a point where she really wants the best for her kids and her family. And the education is very expensive, like I said before. So she went and filled out an application for like a, a visa. And you're not going to like a lottery. So it's a visa for getting a green card so, so that's what she applied and thank god we got it did you have freedom in your country yes we do have freedom then there's no wars so that's very good yeah. did you leave any family members behind 
Yes, we did leave our family. The only we are um, my nuclear family, meaning my mom and my dad and my siblings are here. But my extended family, my uncles, my cousins, my everyone else extended, they are not here. Even my grandmothers and fa grandfathers. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. I'm at the BB school with Susan. Susan, can you tell me a fact about immigration? Many people came to America for different reasons, for freedom of religion, of job, of fear, of oppression, and want. Thank you. Back to you. Hi, I'm Andrea, and I'm here with one of the teachers from the Salem Woods School, and she's going to tell us her parents' immigration story to the United States. Who are you? My name is Miss Serio. I teach study skills at the Salem Woods School, grade 6. What's your nationality? My father was from Sicily, Italy, and my mother was from Berlin, Germany. What does immigration mean to you? Immigration means an opportunity to have a better life in a country where there is vast opportunity. Did they leave any family members behind? Uh, my father's family, complete family, was here, though some of them later on went back to Italy. My mother's whole family was left in Europe. Her entire, she was here all by herself. What did they bring during their travel to the United States? I don't know what my father brought because he came via Ellis Island, so I don't really know, but my mother had only one suitcase that she brought from her country, a brown suitcase that's still in the attic in my house. Have you visited your parents' home countries? I've visited both parents' home countries, both Sicily and Germany both of them and it's easier for me to live in Germany uh, and in Sicily uh, it's more of a vacation. Uh, I've also worked in both countries um, so yeah I can say I've experienced both cultures. Is there anything else you would like to say? Um, I just want to thank you for interviewing me and taking the time. I hope I've helped you on this project. Um, it's been very interesting and thank you very much. Did you know children 16 and below must have an adult with them or they'll be sent back?